beat the and he just go starts going off on him and he just starts going crazy. Yeah. So it's just like, dude, chill out. And this this guy the entire time is just kind of chilling there. Like uh, he's the best he's promoter. Ready. He's yeah. the best promoter though. He, he knows he what is. he's doing. He's his best own promoter. He doesn't need a promoter, yeah, Conor, no, no. Conor McGregor. But you know what? I can't help but feel like this fight coming up. He's gonna get the shit beat out of him. It sounds like he's it's going in that direction. It, I, I, he might have already peaked. I think he peaked with with Mayweather, and, yeah. and you know, and that wasn't even a UFC fight. Like, yeah. I think he peaked with May- you know what? No, even with Nate Diaz, mm. when he got his fucking ass bitch slapped by Nate Diaz, like I think that was for me that was his turning point. It's been a long time since his last fight. That's always scary. His yeah. last real, his UFC last real fight. fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beam had fought probably a couple months ago, so I mean, he's yeah. he's been on a roll. So. He's ready, and he yeah. he has the belt right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, Connor, he's he knows how to promote, and he's he's good. So yeah. Also, that's why too, Dana White don't. Yeah, yeah that's, that's his money maker. Yeah, yeah right. that's why he's, he's the only let him he's go. the only pool in the UFC right now. Who else yeah. really that's true. knows how to promote a good fight? Yeah, there's no one else. I mean, John Jones is. Out pretty yeah, much, yeah. like no one's really paying attention to him. Saint Pierre's out. Saint Pierre's yeah. out. Um, Brock so, Lesnar's out. I mean, is he going back to WWE? Is that what? Yeah, I mean? yeah, he's still there. Yeah, oh, he's okay. still there. I mean, Lesnar might come back though, still, right? He may. He's trying to, I think he but still has a chance. I think. I think with the whole steroid use of that yeah. one that he got caught, I think he's trying to take his, you know, take it slow on his way back. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's this is going to be interesting. I really can't wait. It's October sixth. That's the. Uh, that's that's actually going to be the fight. That's coming up. That's coming up for yeah. sure. I mean, well, good old McGregor, man. Right? Is that a man? Don't be a dick. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. What were you going to say, Tom? <laughs> I was going to say, is that going to be in Vegas? Or? Um. Yeah. It is actually. You know what? They haven't announced oh, really? where it's actually going to be. Fire, yeah. fire it may be in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. 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 I don't see. I don't see exactly where it's going to be at. But um. So far, yeah, they're saying October sixth. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the biggest fight in UFC history. Apparently. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. They say, about yeah, every they fight. say about every fight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um. You know, to finish off sports, you know, I'll, you can't not talk about Dodgers. Yes, please. It's about mm-hmm. time for playoffs to come around, and the Dodgers are looking great right yeah, now. Yeah, man. They're they're putting it into. The something's happening. Some- so, somebody's touching the right voodoo doll. It was Bugs Bunny with the goddamn water. <laughs> it, was it was the it? juice. It was the juice. <laughs> it was the secret stuff. Um, now they're looking great, man. Like everyone, everyone's hitting on all cylinders. Uh, Manny Machado, I know he just hit a home run the other night. Mm-hmm. Um, Puig hit three hit three home runs on a Saturday. Uh, like a week ago, two weeks ago, Puig's been um, killing it. Right? Been killing it. And that was like the day after he got robbed, right? Yeah, the day after he got <laughs> robbed. Wasn't he, wasn't he playing when he got robbed? Yeah, I think yeah. he was out. He, he was, was out, out there. Yeah. yeah, they were playing. I think they were playing the Reds. I think or um, one of the teams. Yeah. Like that. But yeah, he was he was playing while he got robbed, and then he the next day after he got robbed, he just dinged fucking three dingers, and that was it. But uh, right now they're finishing off the se- uh, the series with the D backs. And so far, um, everything looks good. I mean, they just beat them seven to four the night before. They mm-hmm. didn't sweep the Padres, uh, but the last series we got going on is actually against the Giants. And the Dodgers' magic number right now to clinch the playoffs, as the, at the time of this recording, is five. Um, it could get cut down to just three, which is you know the Giants is the last three games. Yeah. So they got to just win two of those games. If actually, if they beat. The Giants once. I think they're in. I think they clinched the spot. Really? They clinched the, yeah, they clinched the division. Because it also depends, too, on if Colorado loses, oh, okay. you know, how Colorado's schedule uh, works out. Right. And if they continue to lose, then the Dodgers so will the variables play. in play. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just until they're mathematically eliminated. So we'll see. I think the Dodgers, though, have a great chance of actually making a good run in this in this playoffs. Like, I did not think this couple weeks ago like i yeah. we have it on we have it on record that i did not think that this no was no we, none of us uh, were so optimistic as we should have been yeah i mean we're i was <laughs> yeah. ready to hit the panic button like oh shit what's going on yeah but, i mean the last podcast we were talking about how they were gonna throw a grenade in the uh fucking bullpen yeah you know? and so now all of a sudden and they're now, you know, all world series, well again in world, the world series bound Woo! <laughs> <laughs> i like them this whole time yeah <laughs> there's nothing wrong with them at all yeah. like like tom who's your team for baseball <laughs> I'm, I'm an angels fan so uh, uh, God, why do you think he was quiet this whole time bro. why are you the, the way that you are <laughs> 
I know, I know. I'm a Raiders fan, so I technically should be yeah, a Dodgers fan. Work? It's the same. How, it's the same fan. You're base. just confused, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're just confused. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, but yeah. Was, yeah. Some, yeah. Some oh. I don't want to get stabbed twice. You go to hell, you die. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Garrison. Seriously. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, good luck with your angels, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, shit. Angels and Raiders, huh? Hey, we can't Sorry. win them all, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. can't, 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 can't win any with the Raiders, obviously. <laughs> 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 what was the last time? What was the last time? Benny carries a UCLA uh, bag oh. on him. Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay with what? this. He's a what? UCLA fan, too? <laughs> no, I'm a yeah. USC fan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 All right, all right. My wife went to UCLA, so I'm... That's the only reason uh, I have you. It's all right though. That's your that's your wife. You're porking <laughs> yeah, it. You're yeah, porking a brewing every exactly. day. So that's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I'll end sports. All right, man. Thank <laughs> Don't you. Don't forget to pork them Bruins. Well, we don't do this next segment enough, but uh, today, guys, I got I got a joint report. Are you a week? Give me some. I'll smoke you two under the table. All right. Well, um, I heard about this story. I, I couldn't not bring it up. It came out uh, today. Um, the headline was, Maine asks restaurant to stop giving lobsters cannabis before boiling them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but the lobsters just won't get a little high for the guy. You don't know that. <laughs> uh, I, um, I found this on NPR, uh, and uh, apparently some motherfucker up in Maine was giving lobsters little doses of cannabis before he put them in for boiling because he, he, he thought it was going to chill them out. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, come on, man. They got to chill out. Yeah, yeah. Let them fight, relax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he was, he was uh, putting them through some kind of contraption. So he, uh, he designed what, we, what would be considered the equivalent of a bong hit for lobsters in a small plastic oh, box. <laughs> yeah, right there. So he just oh, hot man. boxed a fucking lobster? But well, without any of the residual effects for the consumers, which I think is bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh-huh. if I'm if I'm eating at this at this uh, restaurant, I'm, right, and, right. and and I know that this guy is giving the uh, the lobster some weed, I want to be able to feel a little bit of what they were going through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, if I'm going into this restaurant, I'm like, give me the weed lobster, please. <laughs> Extra sativa, thank you very much. Get me think- boiled before I get baked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, like, how does he get it? He just holds them up and then he just puts them to the fucking into, into a little small plastic box. Yeah, so it's like a bong hit for the lobsters. So they can get in wow. there and, and just chill out. Which, first off, we don't know if they're actually getting high. You know, and they're not there to tell us. <laughs> Right. And and their eyes are probably already red. Quick, get so. Doctor Doolittle now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the workers there thinks it's bullshit. He even said it to the reporter. He's like, I don't. Well, what, I mean, this guy pays me, so whatever. I'm gonna go ahead. And do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. spend on weed, dude. That that dude's yeah. that yeah. dude's probably snaking some weed on the side. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's probably why he's bullshit. He's like, come on, man, I was getting free weed this whole time. <laughs> Cutting my connect. Yeah, dude. So. um... <laughs> The, the the entire state of Maine is telling him to stop because I mean who knows what he could be doing to the lobster Bunch and then yeah, this is something that somebody's going to consume yeah, yeah, yeah so I mean the there's there's no research to back up that what he's doing is actually making the lobsters feel chilled out before they get boiled to death no if anything he's just chilling out his customers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I we've seen um, what's that bong bong appetite on Vice bong appetite. Uh, there's, there's a show bong appetite on Vice there's a guy. Uh, he basically has a shitload of weed and too much money, <laughs> so he he hires a bunch of local restaurants chefs, yeah. as chefs to come and enjoy weed with him. But wow. he has them create dishes of their specialty using weed. Wow. So he opens and, up. Like and a, not all of them are smokers or, no, or no, consumers no. of cannabis, yeah. but they're really good cooks. And they're just like, cool. Well, like, if you're gonna like use oil, use this, this weed butter or wow. use this other kind of thing, you know? Yeah, and they they sprinkle like CBD distillate in it to kind of counteract the too much DAC. But there was an episode where they went, they were like making ribs, so they actually got, you know, they went to pick out like this pig farm and picked out like their pig that the ribs they were gonna be making that they were gonna eat. So they would feed him like this cannabis, um, <laughs> like like little meals or like these little trays like mm-hmm. patties yeah. and they would eat them so that way they would get cannabis infused and so when they when they would eat that would be extra cannabis yeah because THC the stays in your fat yeah so imagine okay. you're making some bacon and you're just getting stoned oh my god oh. so I'm 
fairly sure these people in Maine were having a pretty gnarly time. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I mean, there's not that there's not that much fat in a lobster, so who knows? Yeah, uh, nothing that's true. Really, and it might have already been boiled out. There's a few other factors. And that, they may, yeah, they may not in. biologically be able to, yeah. to hold that in. So exactly. That, yeah, yeah. If anything, they may have died after the first hit. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a cockroach you can swim. If anything, the guy's just cutting out the middleman, and you know he's just killing him before he puts him in to boil. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, sure, sure, who knows? But that 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 story reminded me of uh, our trip to Colorado when we bought so much weed. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, we bought so much weed, we didn't, we didn't know what to do with. We threw it in the coals while we were making ribs and yeah. smoked our ribs. We smoked, <laughs> our ribs. we smoked our ribs with an ounce of weed. That we were fun. panicking on how we were going to get rid of all oh, this dude, cannabis. Oh, dude, we still had like two days left and we had an ounce left, man. <laughs> or no, we had four. We had two ounces left. We still had two ounces left. And we had weed four left. days left. And four, and four <laughs> days left, yeah. mind you. And then everyone else bought other wheat, like other wheat. So like I think we ended up having four ounces overall for five days. It was insane. Wow. Finish like two, two ounces. Between two guys. No, no, no. no, no. There's like it was eight, of us. eight of us, but not everyone smokes as heavily as Josie and I do. Yeah, so, right. like, we had to take the brunt of everything. Um, there are a few times where, like, even I, I rolled up like four joints. And I was just passing him around. You like should have seen this guy. It looked like he was a kid in a sweatshop where he was making one joint. <laughs> like feverish. And then, he, and then he was making another one. Next. And then he was just working on the next one. Like he turns to me and just like, I was like, like tuck your pants in your socks, motherfucker. Don't steal nothing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, what am I going to do with all this weed? I got to do something. <laughs> and like, I think um, I lit one. I turned it. I passed it to Ed. He passed it over. And then all of a sudden I lit the other one. He's like, oh, what the fuck? I'm like, a joint for everybody. Yes. By the time he knew it. <laughs> like when you like when you were passing it, there was always some someone coming to you. And we had more weed than we knew what than to do we with. knew what to do. Yeah, I, I think it got to a point where like there was actually like all five joints came to me, so I had all five at once. So they're just like take one of each. I'm like, nah, fuck it. I put all five in my mouth and I took a big hit. And Eric, our, our friend Eric, he has a picture of me with all five in the mouth, just taking, just just yeah. token it up. And Eric's uh, Eric's down to party. Uh, all the let time. me tell you about my buddy Eric. Uh, th- this guy's always down to party, but he doesn't know what to do with himself. Like yeah. he'll get too high, <laughs> and then he just had his gl- sunglasses on, and he looked like fucking weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. He's just sitting, he's just chilling on the on the chair. So actually, that's a funny story. Yeah. Um, you know, we were all chilling on you know outside on like this little patio, like around this little patio set, and he's like that, you know, chilling on the chair. He still has his hoodie. He has like this Budweiser hoodie, hoodie with like a little beer cozy built into it, <laughs> yeah. and then he had like his shades on the whole time. And so like everyone's all talking, and then I just look over at Eric. I'm all, Eric, you good, man? He's all, yeah. And thumbs up, just puts the thumbs up only. I'm all, look at this motherfucker looking like an undercover cop. <laughs> and, and, then all Nark! Sudden, and then, yeah, everyone's like, Nark! And I'm just like, in his mind, he's thinking, they think I'm one of us. <laughs> but wait, have I gone too far? Do I know who, I'm, who I am? And all of a sudden, he screams out, Who am I? <laughs> and so I said this in front of everyone. They just started laughing. It was so the then, funniest thing ever. So then we were all smoking like an hour, two hours later. We're just chilling there. And then sure enough, you hear from Eric, Eric, who am I? <laughs> it was it was it great. Was it was perfect. It sounds like a big donor weekend. Yeah, yes, dude, it was like five days. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it was a weekend. It was a good week. That's for sure. Normally, that's a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that concludes the joint report, everybody. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's time for the music segment. Oh, baby. I wanna rock. All right. Well, uh, today I got a, a few songs that you guys probably have never heard of, <laughs> but I'm Most sure likely. you'll likely enjoy. Yeah. Now, uh, Josh, Chris, Tommy, do you guys uh, do you guys like Stone Temple Pilots? Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Do you guys like Filter, the band Filter? Filter. Hmm? No, no, no. Mm. Uh, the have you ever heard that song? Hey, man, nice shot. Yeah. That's filter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, this this is uh, back in 2006. Uh, this band is called Army of Anyone. 
the singer of Filter joined the boys, uh, the brothers, the two, the DeLeo brothers from Stone Temple Pilots oh. to form this uh, super band called Army of Anyone. And this is back when Scott Weiland was uh, at the beginning of, or at, at his worst with drugs when he separated himself from, um, from Stone Temple Pilots. And uh, they made an album together, which I thought was very good and very underrated. This is the single from that album. Um, it's self-titled Army of Anyone, and the song's called Goodbye. Check it out. 